morning and welcome to Epcot on its birthday. Today is October 1st. Really, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary slash birthday for Walt Disney World as a whole, but we didn't make it into Mag or Magic Kingdom today. So we're celebrating Epcot's birthday today because they also opened on October 1st, but in 1982, so today they're 39 years old. We've got our swag on, right? So we did a couple of the cool things. We went to Club Cool. I don't know how I feel. It's cool. I'm glad it's, uh, uh you get it? It's cool, right? Maybe it's for the new generation, right? It's all about progress. It can't just hold on to things for us old farts. We're gonna do some of the harmonious fireworks. Um, we're also gonna do a stint over at uh, Hollywood Studios, so you'll see a little bit of that too. But anyways, happy birthday, Epcot. Happy birthday. One thing that I have noticed is that the crowds are not too bad here, old at, at, at Epcot at least. I, I hear at Magic Kingdom it's kind of crazy here on the 50th anniversary day of Walt Disney World, but I, uh, we're gonna stop over here at Chosa de Margarita, not for margaritas, but for JR. JR said he has been chosen by Chosa de Margarita, not for a margarita, but for one of those other kid-friendly things. So maybe we got something for ourselves too. <laughs> we couldn't pass it up. Yeah, Mexico is always one of our favorite spots to stop. It's just so neat looking over here. It's so well-themed. And also the shade, shade's kind of nice. There's a little bit of shade here that we can rest in. We were just looking over at this foliage here or whatever you want to call it, and it really looks like a jungle, like we're in a Mexican jungle. Isn't that cool? Saucy. So we stepped into the uh, American Pavilion where they have a, uh, what is this called? This is like the rotunda. And they got some food for food and wine. So we've walked a good bit and we decided we need to eat some food and we got some things here. What did we get? A crab and avocado parfait and a shrimp cocktail. That's fun. There's all kinds of different things to do here at Epcot. Not just walk around and get hot and sweaty, but you can actually have some nice good food. I'm about to try some of this crab and avocado parfait. It's got caviar on the top of it. So that makes it extra fancy, I think. I'm not a fan of that. Really? I like that better than this. This is the shrimp cocktail. I don't know if you can focus on that. I don't like that at all. No? Mm -mm. There's a hard stuff in there. Is that a shell? That's not good. No? It's like, I like fish and that's way too fishy. All right, let's try a little bit of this shrimp cocktail. Maybe that's a little better. Both are not great. Well, we got to wash this down. Had to get a little bit of this hot beef sandwich to wash down that, mm, that disappointment that I had over there at the that American place. Well, this is mm, that's good stuff right there. Yeah, mm. much better. making our way over to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna take a little break from Epcot because there's more to see here tonight after this message. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club. As one of the most picturesque vacation destinations in the world. Alright, so we took a, uh, a little, we're gonna take a little stop here, a little pit stop here at Riviera because it's always beautiful and pretty darn awesome here. Oh, uh, look at those views. Wow. Oop, look out, we gotta get through this gate here. I guess we just, oh yeah. We got our couple of drinks. Um, Jessica, she already had her drink from the other place. What was it? A cider of some sort, I'm not sure. It was good. Some sort of fancy cider that's good. And then I got the Riviera Spiked Iced Tea from over here at the Riviera. Wonderful place, really like it. It's so nice here. 
Look how nice it is here. We're gonna walk around to the other Skyliner station, get on and go over to Hollywood and do some more fun over there. Oh my gosh, look up here on this balcony one more time. This must be the new hot spot. There's Donald and Daisy. Wow, that's amazing. Hey guys. Hey Donald and Daisy. Oh, what is the music for? There's fancy music playing. What's happening? Is there something? Oh, Ooh, look, there's something happening. It's been a time since we've been into here, the old tune-in lounge. Let's head inside and see what it's like. It does, it tastes like fall, like the mountains. You like yours better? Well, fine. That's good, that's why you ordered that one. Well, tuning was really fun. We had some really nice drinks over there, and oh my gosh, Hollywood Studios has some amazing statues. What is that, R2-D2 and BB-8? Let's get a closer look. Holy moly, that is awesome. These things are too flipping cool. At all the parks, they got these really neat iridescent gold statues and it's way cool. Here we go, R2-D2 and BB-8. And look, BB-8's giving us a little, give us a little high five. Look at that, he's giving us a little high five right there. That's really cool. Either that or he's giving us a, eh, I'm just gonna say he's giving us a high five. statue things are really cool but look at this look at the crowds like the or the uh, should i say the lack of crowds there's a serious lack of crowds here i think they're all in magic kingdom what do you think i think so too yep she thinks We're so too we're gonna be in that tomorrow but i'm glad we did this today yeah we'll be in it tomorrow but today it is amazing that is so crazy well there's BB-8 floating in the wind there. That can only mean one thing. Well, that could mean a couple of things, but right now it means that we are in the queue for Oga's Cantina. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? I saw it. Did you see it? Nope. You didn't see it? Did you see it? Was it Thor? It was not Thor. Definitely was not Thor. All right, so we made it into Oga's Cantina. We're gonna have a couple of, well, Space drinks, because that's what you do here. You have space drinks. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh. Well, there goes that. I just spilled about $8 of that $18 drink. Well, I got a little bit of this jet juice because Jessica decided to spill her water all over me, so it's a little wet. So this should dry me up from the inside out. I think it's working. My lips are tingling. This fuzz, the fuzzy tauntaun. All right, I have to admit, the fuzz by itself, but mixed with the drink is pretty good. But my tongue is like. That's the jet juice. Jet. It's got the jet. I think we did a okay, maybe. Do you think we did okay? So okay. So okay. Oh, what is that for? Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
we are basically walking on. People are happy, scared, and excited. Ooh, to get on this ride here. This is the Hollywood Howard, Howard 1917. That's the opposite of 71. 1917 is not opposite of 71. Is that a coincidence maybe? Gotta do this here for safety because terror means safety. So that is enough from Hollywood Studios today because we have some more stuff to do over back at Epcot for Harmonious. We're gonna post up and uh, figure out where we're gonna stand, sit, and uh, view for the uh, Harmonious Epcot fireworks. But anyways, this is the first night of the official 50th anniversary. That's crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's the very first night of Harmonious, technically, and it's 9.43 now. Two minutes to go. Well, Harmonious starts at 9.45. We're really tired. We're ready for this thing to get started. Ready to get this party started? So ready. Oh yeah, we're so ready. First impressions of that show was a pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It's different, definitely different. New age music that is different than what I'm used to and different than what, you know, calls to my core. That's okay. Good night, folks. Good night, night indeed. And you got a nice glow on you. Where is that coming from? This lady right here, this crazy lady is giving us this crazy glow. Oh my gosh, look how much fun. Good night. That's something new to get used to there. That's a lot of beautiful light coming off that thing. It was always beautiful, but this time it's a little different. It's got a little extra magic coming off of Spaceship Earth. She's a beauty. She's a classic. It just feels familiar yet new. As with a lot of the things here today at Epcot, yeah, as far as we're concerned. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> 